realtech.net at divisionalblendertech.com here. Just a quick one because it's late at night here, but I decided let's start working on some useful stuff. By that, I mean let's start working on parts of the inventory that we, we will use to allow the user to equip class specific items. We'll probably use it for a weapons modification and attachment system. So open your project and remember, create your way. We're going to need to go into our blueprints folder. We never had a uh, inventory period. It was in my planning, but I've never actually shown how to do a replicated one. So we're going to create a new folder called inventory, inventory main. And I'm going to set this to green because we're working on it. What an inventory is going to require is a ton of interfaces. Now, for those of you that don't know, in a programming language like C++, which blueprints are based off of essentially, or are boiled down to, or Java, something similar, an interface basically just allows two different classes to share functionality when those classes are not inheriting from each other in any way. So we're gonna need a lot of those because we're gonna have item classes and player classes and so on and so forth. So we're gonna need a lot of interfaces to allow functionality to be shared across a player and other players networked and items and so on and so forth, widgets. The list continues. So let's right click, let's start with some of those. Let's go to blueprints, let's create a blueprint interface. We'll call this BPI player in. So let's open that up, save while we're at it, and we are greeted with function. So what we're gonna need is, well, there's gonna be uh, dozens and dozens of them, but we might as well start with uh, something nice and easy, which will be something like change inventory size. I should just use inv all the way. It makes sense what inv is. So we're gonna need a new input. We're gonna want two integers. We're gonna do a tiled inventory. I've done listed before where we've put essentially buttons in, but uh, I've had lots of requests for my old inventory tutorial on crafting to do a tiled one. So that's what I'm gonna do this time. So we're gonna need a size X in item icons and a size Y. So that's basically how, how many icons wide and tall. Because for example, if we're gonna modify this for a weapon modification, we're probably gonna need a lot more room. But if we're doing something like just equipping, you know, certain items to a player, we're only going to need a few slots. We are going to need a pawn reference, except my keyboard cut out there. Pawn reference. This is for uh, overflow. So for any icons that overflow that don't fit in our x by y or y by x and lastly we're going to need an actor and a lot of the stuff we're going to do is oh come on is going to be based on actors because they replicate so easily so we're going to need inv target whose whose inventory are we targeting when we're changing the size let's add a new function we're going to need a uh, use item and that will need, of course, an item index. Actually, I'm going to need an, we're going to need the same one. We're going to need a target inv. I'll do that since actor's there anyway. We're going to need an integer index. There. We need a boolean called b is consumable. So that would be stuff like, um, med kits and such where we're not just attaching something when, uh, when we use it but we're actually using one of multiple items and lastly we're going to need a player controller reference you'll see lots of these since it is going to be fully networked and this will be the um player well, yeah, the player controller. <laughs> pretty, pretty easy. Um, we're going to need a simple function, which is going to be open um, 
im container on I'm gonna put it in caps client and this will be um, an actor reference again it won't be just a regular im or it won't be the inventory hole it'll be just uh, an item container <clears throat> So an actor that holds an item essentially just like any other inventory system What else um, We're gonna need uh, a way to remove or rather subtract items Subtract item I guess if it was items you'd call it multiple times in this case, we're gonna need, what do we got up? An actor, well, that will be our inv. And then we'll need two integers again. And they pretty much are self-explanatory, an index and an amount. Now, since we're doing slots, we're gonna need something similar, which is gonna be um, uh, remove item from slot. So we're gonna need an index integer. Which slot are we re are we removing this item from? And we're gonna need an actor reference again which is gonna be our inventory again. In, I'm changing the names here, aren't I? Inv target, uh, whatever, it's fine. And we're going to need to be able to do the inverse of these, which would be add item to slot. And uh, again, we're gonna need an actor, which is gonna be our inventory. We're gonna need two integers, which will be an index and an amount. Come on. Like so. And when you're at when you're subtracting items, you just remove it. But when you're adding items, you need a structure, which we don't have yet. So this is going to be our um, item data. I've called it all sorts of different things in the past. Item data, item core, whatever, your base item class. But it is a structure. So we are going to, I guess, just put it in inventory main. We'll put a new folder called item. I'm gonna set this to yellow. And we're gonna need to make a new structure called s underscore item data. You can call it item info if you want. It it, it holds holds all all the information about each and every single item. Is really all there is to it. So let's open it up and let's think of some interesting things. We obviously need a um, a name, which is I'm doing this backwards, which would be a string. So that'll be uh, what's the name? And we're gonna want an icon, which be texture 2D. This is almost second nature to me now because I've done a tutorial exactly like this, just not networked. Um, we're gonna need a description. Description, I can never spell that right. I don't even think that's right. And we're gonna need, uh, remember we said uh, uh, some items can be consumable and not, so B can be consumed. What else? Um, we're gonna need a class, so that will be an actor class. 
So uh, class for picking, uh, I'll just go for pick up. And we're gonna need, since we're doing slots, we're gonna need two integers, which will be, um, size X, I can't tap into there, and size Y. How many, how many tiles will they take up in our tiled inventory, essentially? And we're gonna want to be able to stack items. So let's do another, I guess, yeah, that'd be an integer, because it obviously have to be whole. So that'll be um, maximum stack count so if it's one obviously it's uh, not stackable now I'm gonna go back into the content browser and I'm gonna add a secondary structure for this in the past I've just filled the structure with all of its um, characteristics its attributes but I am going to do it in a structure this time another structure so we're just gonna call this S uh, item attributes. And inside of that one, uh, for now, I'm just gonna keep it simple. We'll just go with, I guess a float, cause you can have half. We'll just start with something like weight. Um, I think that's all we'll really need for now. We'll make it more advanced as, as our game gets, uh, more developed and uh, we decide what we need, but that's pretty standard stuff for an inventory. And this will allow us to do things like if the demolition character class has a lot of uh, heavy items, then he might move a little slower and we can calculate it all automatically without having to set values. So let's go back to our item data. I'm gonna save here. Since structs don't auto save, since they don't compile, um, so we're gonna want uh, s item attributes like so, and this will obviously be item attributes, and then you get a nice drop down there. Uh, we are gonna want a few default values. Um, most items probably will be consumable in in um in this style of game, you know, like grenades, um, ammo, all sorts of things, C4, whatever, right? Med kits. So that's gonna be pretty standard. Um, max stack count we want that to be at least one that's a guaranteed and an icon i like to give it a standard icon but i don't think i have anything available right now i might have to go into an old project so i'll just leave it with ue4 logo my go to value for texture 2d so yeah i'm gonna save that that should be good. So now we just need to add this into our add item to slot in our interface, our blueprint interface. So let's uh, add uh, S item data. And this will be item data. Whoops. Bah, we'll just call it uh, items data. Good enough. And just like we subtracted uh, items, we're gonna want to add items. Um, we're gonna add items to our in. Though. We're not just gonna subtract them from a random array or anything. We're gonna have to actually add them to our player's array. So we're gonna need, oh, our item data is right there. So we're gonna obviously need an item data why can i call it item data there it's not fair um 
we are going to need an actor reference again for uh, who's ever inventory we are adding it to because the server can give items out too you know like in um, the commander mode or whatever and we're gonna want lastly an integer uh, for a map capital uh, what else we have add add remove remove use change inventory size we're going to need to uh get the player's inventory so that's one so uh that'll be get player inventory so we'll want again an actor reference and so this is the um, target. We're gonna want our item data structure again. Whoops, item data. Uh, we're gonna want an amount. Sorry, I'm thinking of the wrong one. This is, um, it is totally duplicated that one right there. Although I just realized something, that one. Good thing I accidentally did that because that should be um, index amount item data. Yeah, just delete that extra on there. That's how add item to slush working. Get player inventory is much easier. We just have an actor, which is our inventory main. In fact, I'm gonna get call that get player inventory main. Um, yeah, I'm gonna leave it off there for tonight, but we will continue on this when I have some more time. So I'm just going to leave it there for now since it was a short one. <laughs>